of time or the era in which it happened, or is it just observing a person's behavior now? But instead of that topic, several of you wanted to ask this question. Let me show it to you. Someone said, I'm not trying to be rude, but what about people of color dressing up as white or Native Americans? Someone else said, has anyone seen the movie The Associate? Whoopi paints her face white. What's the difference? I have to say it seems reasonable to say that there shouldn't be this double standard. Maybe no one makes skin color part of a costume. Well, what makes brown face and black face racist to some has to do with the history and even today what it still represents. President Lincoln had just issued the Emancipation Proclamation, if you go back to that time, ending slavery. So you can imagine black Americans were anxious to build a life, to work, perhaps to get an equal shot at life. But what followed on top of all the discrimination was this. Minstrel shows, late 1800s to around 1940 or so, it was considered entertainment for a white person to darken their skin and turn black people into stereotypical characters, buffoons, overly sexualized, slow, lazy, and it wasn't just entertainment. As you know, what many of us consume in media, magazines, it impacts our culture, and these shows drove stereotypes. How would you like to go to work for me? Yes, ma'am. How much you gonna pay me, I hope? Well, let's see now. Mm -hmm. I'll pay you all your work. No, ma'am. I gotta have some money. One group of people made fun of on a regular basis in ways that hurt them in real life. In that same clip, he was called stupid and told to get a job. And this history is why someone painting their face white has a different meaning than of time or the era in which it happened, or is it just observing a person's behavior now? But instead of that topic, several of you wanted to ask this question. Let me show it to you. Someone said, I'm not trying to be rude, but what about people of color dressing up as white or Native Americans? Someone else said, has anyone seen the movie The Associate? Whoopi paints her face white. What's the difference? I have to say it seems reasonable to say that there shouldn't be this double standard. Maybe no one makes skin color part of a costume. Well, what makes brown face and black face racist to some? If you've come to this article and don't have a Medium membership, you can click here to read the full article without a membership. Thank you. I'm frankly tired of it. I've lost so much in life for defending Africa, Africans, my lovers and friends, while so many continue to coon themselves for money. And I have never in life liked Michael Blackson. I really can't stand the sight of his face, let alone his goofy-ass voice. He made his start telling the worst jokes with his buffoon African accent. His accent alone which solidified the place in many people's minds that Africans are some of the dumbest people alive. He didn't seem to care about carrying Africa in a better light. Now all you see on social media are posts that always claim, the Africa they don't want you to see. Who is they? You're the ones making a mockery of Africa. While people are showing their lovely vacations, there are more and more Africans posting the most disgusting aspects of negative stereotypes about Africans. 
One of the most annoying videos I saw was when Ghana's Black Sharif was in Miami. In an interview he claimed he never saw tall buildings before. He said he had only seen tall buildings in a video game. Ghanaians claimed he was the smartest person they had ever heard in their lives. One Ghanaian man in the comments took direct action to say that was the dumbest thing he had ever heard. I was so happy to see that one comment. Photo created by author T.B. Abwoj. Kooning is a derogatory term used to criticize or insult individuals, particularly those from marginalized racial or ethnic groups, who are perceived as acting in a way that reinforces negative stereotypes about their own group or panders to a dominant or prejudiced audience. This is saddest when it's being done by black people for financial gain, it is very annoying. Black Americans are very quick to call out this cooning behavior, however I have rarely seen this in the African community. As a matter of fact just two days ago a Nigerian woman called me a racist because I told her I would never date a non-black or non-African man in my life. She sent me several Facebook comments, insulting me with the racist taunts and she thinks that someone not dating a white person is truly a hateful, racist person. She sent me comments for more than 24 hours. This Rango Tenge Tenge who is on TikTok with over 3.5 million followers, he is not only on TikTok, he is on YouTube, Instagram, and several social media platforms. When you look at the comments from racist white people you can't help but get angry, they don't seem to think anything he's posting is fake. Screenshot from Instagram comments. This platform just helps them reinforce their stereotypes of the stupid Africans, living in poverty-stricken countries. Another thing you can't help but notice the social media platforms are not removing their racist comments. From YouTube? I have no idea what anyone thinks is so funny about this, if this were a white person, Africans would have a bitch fit. In the above video this boy has the nerve to paint several people's faces with black paint, what the hell is wrong with him? Why are millions of people following this shit? Screenshot from Instagram comments. There are thousands of comments on his social media posts like the ones above, the comments are so terrible. I will never understand why people will belittle themselves then get angry when people do this on social media. There are many, many more accounts like this one on social media, I don't have the energy to add all of them at this time. But this one here is the most disgusting. Screenshot from Instagram comments. Thank you for reading please consider buying a coffee for Lacey's house efforts in gender equality and children's rights as it tries to move international. TB Alboge 2024 Acceptance of blackface it's a racist show business practice most of us thought was long gone. But as Maurice Dubois is about to tell us, blackface has a long history in our country. And we caution you, his report unavoidably includes many offensive and disturbing images. It happens all too frequently, often at Halloween, but not exclusively. They thought it was a joke, but it really just was not funny at all. For example, two years ago in Maplewood, New Jersey. Her daughter posted this photo of herself and a friend in blackface. The two girls had no idea what blackface was or the history of it. The history of blackface is...